Welcome all. This is Ashok Kumar Sarvepalli. We are going to discuss on polymorphism in our Java series today. So basically what is polymorphism? A base class reference points to an subclass object. So this is the definition. This is the meaning. So we all know what is a base class and what is a subclass. A subclass is the one which extends the base class which extends the properties which uses the properties of uh, the instance variables and stuff so generally we know the class is nothing but a heterogeneous data type so what does it mean so people when started learning c programming and stuff they know what is a data type is just holds a number like int float double and so on then we started develop arrays which a homogeneous data type then in typical c we could see a structure which is nothing but a heterogeneous data type we are going to combine a int float double together and arrays also within that and class where a hoops concept evolved a class is nothing but which has a more powerful way of writing the structure which contains a heterogeneous data type as well so now you could see one example so suppose if i have a class animal inside it and some height and weight could be the properties so I have private int height and private int weight and few setters and getters this is what animal and now we all know when i do animal a what does it mean simply living like this so reference variables will be in the stack so now currently it is not pointing to any memory so heap suppose we will take this as heap Whenever we create new of animal, then only a memory got created in Java. Maybe in C++ it's different. So new animal. So what does it mean? An animal object will be created because of this line. And since the right hand side is assigned to the left hand side, A points to a new animal object. All right. So what does it uh, polymorphism says here? A base class reference to a subclass object. Let us create one more class called tiger. So tiger may have specific properties, maybe color or uh, some other properties pertaining to tiger. And now if I say animal A, you can write it as new tiger. This is possible when tiger extends animal. So here a base class reference pointing to a subclass object. So what is the benefit of it? So again, A will be in the stack, in the heap, you will have a tiger object and it will be pointing. So what an object contains generally, when you create a new of animal, now say int occupies 4 bytes, a height and weight, 8 bytes will be this size. So it allocates memory and have it in a uh, heap and A is just a variable, it's just a local variable, which is in the stack, which points to the heap's memory. And here, the same case, but which is pointing to the tiger object because tiger is also an animal generally it's a relationship should hold here okay i will show with an example now let us create a package called learning dot polymorphism let me create a class called animal uh, let me create only one protected method protected void make noise so here i am going to write a sys out saying this is animal i am going to create a couple of classes say cat and i am going to copy the same thing but not protected no more i am going to give that as a cat extends animal so this is cat here so if you see here a symbol is there this is called overriding so the same method name and signature here access specifier is protected and i could make it as public here i will tell you what you can make and what you cannot make later this access specifiers in the subclasses now this is same method name same signature so this is overriding now let me create another class called tiger which also extends animal 
and here we will have the same thing so let this be tiger fine now I will create a test class to show how this works animal test so here it will be like public static void main all right so we all know now I will create let me create an animal object animal a equal to new animal so this is very straightforward a dot make noise so when I run this I will get this is animal so this is no big deal here so it will go to the animal class and pick the object now where polymorphism comes is the base class reference a is a base class reference can point to the subclass object like this yes this is possible so here I can tell a dot make noise when you see in the compile time when I click it will go to the animal class only it doesn't go to the cat class at runtime the a reference will be resolved to a cat object so this will go to the cats make noise method so what thing to remember here if cat doesn't have that method it will automatically pick the animals method so, th so there is no issue here so when I run this see here so the rest thing is this is cat so similarly when I put a equal to new of tiger I'm going to put a dot make noise when I run this it's gonna give me tiger object now let me create one method here make noise is a method so polymorphism works perfectly here so I'm going to create a method so this method takes a just an animal object and inside this method I am going to put a dot make noise now instead of doing this each time what I can do I can simply call make noise of a here see nothing has changed the only thing is the reference got changed an animal object a make noise of a make noise of a make same but each time when a being passed here it's a tiger object here it is a cat object so automatically this method is common anyone can use this whoever extends animal so polymorphism helps us in writing such a robust code when I run this it should be the same output fine okay these are the basic stuff now I will show how uh, access specifiers if it is in a base class protected what should be in the subclass and so on I will tell you the reason as well this is important many of the interview questions as well so if I have in an animal class I have a protected can I make this in the subclass can I make this private this could be one of the interview question they will make this as private but that is an compilation error this is not possible you can upcast it you cannot downcast the access specifiers from the base class to the methods so I can make it as public or I can retain it as protected both are correct both are overriding but you cannot make it as private what could be the reason here so this is nothing but Lisco substitution principle so you can google it that just nothing but Lisco substitution principle so what it says actually so at compile time you should not get error based on the polymorphic behavior think of this situation when I make animal as protected and the subclass as private fine at the compile time when I create a dot make noise it doesn't refers to the subclass at all it goes to the base class only even whatever may be the object maybe the tiger object lion object whatever it is it doesn't refer to the base class it doesn't refer to the subclass at compile time so if that is the case if you make the cat as private when it runs private methods cannot be accessed outside right when it makes a dot make noise how it will able to establish a polymorphic behavior it cannot so when you make a dot make noise inside so what gonna happen in the tiger class if I make it as private it cannot access it so knowing that the compiler initially tells us this is not possible you cannot reduce the visibility of the inherited method from animal because in compile time it is allowed runtime it may be get fooled if you make it as private 
So this is let's go substitution principle. One more thing I am going to show you on exception handling hierarchy in polymorphism. Basically, uh, this is also another interview question. So suppose what if this class throws exception, a generic exception and do my subclass needs to extend those? Not necessary. If the runtime exception is there in the base class, your subclass need not have the same type of signature, need not also throw exception. The reason it need not be varied like this. I can have it as surround with try catch. I can throw exception. This is possible. This is the reason for it. So because in the subclass also, if I ever get an exception, either be a compile time exception, check run check runtime exception in my test class, it will wrap it and around exception itself. But what if you throw a checked exception? So are you clear? Runtime exception doesn't matter if the base class throw subclass also should throw. Now could see a checked exception, IO exception. So what for this? So let me come port it. So this class throws IO exception. Now do I need to handle in the subclasses? Fine. Because it doesn't show any error. Let us uh, uh, replace with it. So it doesn't matter. We can simply surround with try and catch. Now coming to the point. If this throws IO exception, what if I throw here? Throws exception. Is this correct? Not possible. Because the base class should have the top level of exception and the subclass may have the child level exception. See here, exception is not compatible with throws in make noise in the polymorphic behavior. Reason, animal is throwing IO exception. If that is the case, if you could see in animal test, I am catching IO exception only. But in runtime, according to Lesco substitution principle, in runtime, the subclass, I could pass a cat object or a tiger object here. So what happens? At runtime, the subclass may throw exception, which is not being catched here. So, all the principles, polymorphic principles should work. So, this is a typical interview question as well. The base class, if it throws ex uh, runtime exception, subclass need not handle it. If it throws a checked exception like IO exception, the subclass should handle accordingly. So, IO exception is there. Let us see. So see, the error is gone because file not found exception is a subclass of IO exception. So you can do that, but you cannot do the vice versa. Hope this tutorial has helped you. So whatever we discussed is what is polymorphism, uh, how it helps and two other interview questions where whether you can increase the access specifier or decrease in your subclasses, also exception handling scenario. Thanks for watching. Refer my blog www.knowyourbasics.com. We will meet in our next session. Thank you.